So, 4chan has yet again trolled the mainstream media by convincing them that the OK hand gesture was a white supremacist hand sign, much like the gangsters of the East and West Coast. Two members of the alt-right accused of making white supremacist hand signs in the White House after receiving press passes. The journalists say that the hand symbol is innocent, but it has been condemned as racist by the Anti-Defamation League. <laughs> Where's the Snopes article on this one, huh? Two conservative journalists have sparked outcry on social media by making what some have interpreted as a white supremacist hand symbol at a recent visit to the White House. Freelance journalist Mike Cernovich and Cassandra Fairbanks, a reporter for a Russian news outlet called Sput Sputnik, posed for a picture behind the podium in the White House briefing room. In the photo, they're making a hand sign that can be used to signify white power. Just two people doing a white power hand gesture in the White House, Fusion senior reporter Emma Roller tweeted alongside a screenshot of their picture, possibly a great symbol of their journalistic integrity. Anyway... Ms. Fairbanks, however, claims the hand gesture was not a reference to the white power movement. She pointed to her partial Puerto Rican heritage as evidence that she is not a white supremacist. White power, except I'm Puerto Rican. Can it be PR power? She tweeted. Ms. Fairbanks supporters point out that the hand symbol is also used to mean okay. Photos show people of all races using the symbol to signify that everything is all right. Well, remember the phrase they tried to coin, Alt-right is alt-right, and that's what this is all connected to. This all loops back all the way to the Kremlin. The symbol, however, has become more contentious with the rise of the alt-right, a far-right contingent in the United States that rejects both mainstream conservatism and liberal ideologies. The self-proclaimed founder of the alt-right, Richard Spencer, is a well-known white supremacist. I think more accurately, he's a white nationalist, which is close, but it's not exactly the same thing. Alt-right journalist Lucan Wintry, a writer for The Gateway Pundit, sparked outcry when he flashed the symbol in a similar picture in the White House in February. Notorious alt-right personality Milo Yiannopoulos also frequently flashes the symbol. It is important to note, however, that Milo Yiannopoulos has spoken up against white nationalism and white supremacism as far as I have heard. He seems very opposed to the idea of multiculturalism, but that multiracialism isn't that bad of a thing, especially because he claims to really like black guys. The resurgence of the symbol may be traced back to the popular alt-right meme known as Smug Pepe, which began circulating on alt-right pro-Trump message boards in 2015. Mr. Trump often uses the symbol when speaking, explaining its significance with the president's supporters. The Anti-Defamation League characterizes this symbol as a racist hand sign. Some white supremacists, particularly in California, may use a two-handed hand sign in which one hand forms the letter W and the other hand forms the letter P to represent WP or white power. An entry in the Anti-Defamation League's hate symbols database reads, Ms. Fairbanks joined notoriety when she moved from supporting Senator Bernie Sanders to supporting Mr. Trump for president. She now frequently speaks out against Islamic terrorism and the Black Lives Matter movement. Her employer, Sputnik, applied for White House press credentials last month. Mr. Cernovich is the founder of the men's rights blog, Danger and Play, and author of the book, Make America Great Again, Mindset, Making You and America Great Again. He received White Howard press credentials on April 25th. Just a few days ago, actually. Well, where is the mainstream media outcry that there is a Russian journalist with the press pass out there? I mean, if anything, this is more evidence of Russian influence in the election than just speculating that WikiLeaks had a tangible connection to Russia and the Russian government. But instead, there, there wasn't any evidence. They just kept asserting it over and over and over again until it would eventually be just referred to as fact. And really, hats off to 4chan for yet again proving to all of us, displaying for the entire world to see, how incompetent, lazy, and gullible our modern journalists are. They seem to believe whatever it is they want to believe, and look for supporting evidence to supplement it. Take the piss 
dossier, right? Which was, again, something that I believe, and from what I read, is it seems entirely believable, that 4chan had also trolled them on. So, multiple times this year, 4chan and Poll have made themselves in, not only relevant, but, dare I say, goddamn messianic? So, awesome job, guys. If any of you watching this were part of any of this, just, you have my thanks. 4chan has been the greatest thing in 2017.